my name is Amy Houchins. I'm an instructor for the IOM US Upper Extremity Track, and today we're going to locate the scaphoid tubercle. The reason that we would want to do this is that it would be very helpful in evaluating and treating both wrist dysfunction as well as limitations at the CMC joint. The scaphoid tubercle is located in the volar proximal wrist region, and to assist us in finding it, I'm going to have my client resist a little bit of flexion and radial deviation so that I can find the flexor carpi radialis, which I'm going to follow up to where it passes over the scaphoid tubercle, and I will feel a bony prominence at that location. To confirm my position, I'm going to take my patient from ulnar deviation to radial deviation, and I will feel that bony prominence more strongly under my finger for the scaphoid tubercle. If you go too far distal, I might feel another bony prominence, which is the trapezium tubercle, and I can confirm that that's what I found if it doesn't move as much when I move into radial and ulnar deviation. So I'm going to go back down onto my scaphoid tubercle, and there it is.